Hello everyone. As you can see, I didn't get Salmon Sea Stamp March Kit 2018. All it's because I got already those uh, package from Caterpillar Spring Market. Those papers are very great quality, beautiful, spring feeling. There is another reason I didn't get this kit because I already got inks, all collection Salmon Sea Stamp inks, and Wind Costello Shimmer marker, which is maybe practically the same as Nuva. So in this video, I'm going to show you a little idea from the Carter Bella paper set. I'm going to show you 12 mini cards from this pattern background and the stickers and chimple accent. So first of all, we're going to cut those into 12. So the basic background is ready, all you need is to add accent and cardstocks. Cardstock are pre-cut and they are going to be 3 by 4 inches and as always I'm using this multi steward for a better positioning. For the first card I'm going to show you the steps how I'm doing these mini cards. As always, I am using this tape. I am going to tape this background into cardstock. As my cardstock is ready, so now let's do em adding embellishment. First, my idea is to use this red, and as this is stickers, I just want to remove sticking it with the uh, powder from ink. And as you can see, I always open in this lid, it's because my powder doesn't go through brush very well. So, after my stickiness is gone, I am attaching the foam tape and then attaching them all into cardstock. The sticker design is so much background design, flowers and green color. The things I don't like the typewriter of uh, these sentiments, so I decided to cover these sentiments with another sentiment, such as smile. First card, mini card is ready. Then the second card is going to be another simple card. I am skipping the moment how I attached my background to cardstock because you saw in the first video. And I am planning to attach the sentiments into it, such as life is beautiful and little leaves start matching with the background. Again, I'm removing the stickiness, both of the stickers. Then I'm attaching foam tapes to the sentiments. And then with leaves, I am trying to figure out which is better position for me. It could be this down, but I think I prefer up. So I am attaching this all together. And I also wanted my leaves to have a little bit dimension. So I'm adding the dot tape just under the leaves. So this card is simple to edit you. So let's go next. The next is... Um, I decided to pick this up. So for this one I'm thinking it's going to be white background. I mean the cast off. And as my card is ready. I am planning to add some sentiments, so my sentiments is going to be happy little moments. Again, I'm removing stickiness and then adding the foam 
but with this sentiment I am looking something to add on bread some flowers so it's gonna be matched with the sentiments paper like white outside so is the flowers and I think I found the flowers I want to attach to it so I am attaching these sentiments and cover the happy moment sentiments for happy day sorry and then I am attaching the flowers for minute app to make it dimension and very unique and fun also I started to think something like missing so I'm not sure what I was missing maybe I should add a little bit more extra flowers but it seems not nice so I decided to add new drops little drops around the bread so it look like white berries it makes very unique details and it's beautiful I like it Here you go, I like how the cards look like and I don't want to add anything more extra, let's keep simple. So the next card is, let's see, this one. I like the sentiments be kind and I want to find something similar around the black edges. So I found this like a uh, tag with sentiments love grows here, be kind, kind of matching sentiments. And I like it so I'm removing this stickiness again and before I attach this tag I found the pink one from the stash I have the ribbon and the edges I always add glue so it doesn't fray I don't have a special scissor for cutting the edges and then I'm doing a bow just simple bow Once my bow is ready, I am attaching the foam tape to make the mention. For the cardstock, I fit black color that match with the black heart. As my background was ready, I decided to add details from Studio Katya. I like those details. The beautiful and pink details is matching with pink bow. Just gorgeous. The glue I'm using from Salmon System and it's PVA. And it's attaching very well also it's becoming transparent when it's dry so this color is ready let's go to the next so my next color is going to be this black i decided to add black cardstock of course but not the same as the background itself but it's more matching with this and i decided to add sentiments enjoy the journey from the other cardstock I cut them up because my card is very small and sentiments is very long. So I wanted to attach it randomly but in order. Enjoy the journey. This card is perfect for new it. And now I wanted to add some a little bit detail on the top of the sentiments. So similar with the background and I found from Chibo Accent that has peony, similar color as uh, the background itself.
after I attached flower accent into sentiments, I decided to add pearl embellishments to make it more elegant, beautiful. This pearl is very perfect into black background. The next card is going to be with tag background. Before I attach my crown into cardstock, I decided to make a hole, like a original tax. Then, before I attach the ribbon, I cut a little bit hole over there, just above the hole, circle hole. And then, I got ribbon here. I'm going to make into bow. And of course, my bow was not success. So I just decided just to tie up and cut it. Also, I'm adding glue on the top frame so it doesn't fray in the future. And then I'm attaching this background into cardstock. Then let's see what I'm going to add there. I am going to add stickers similar as uh, in the background, just a little bit with dimension. So I am gathering all the powder from my matte leftovers powders and you know my room is always amazing and believable. Okay, as I'm attaching this sticker on the top, and I decided to add peony sentiment because my background has already peony flower. So now I'm thinking, what should I add else? Of course, I'm going to add a little gems from Studio Carter. Just beautiful toss embellishment, and this pin is matching color with uh, my bow. Just beautiful and gentle. I like it. So, next card is going to be more with uh, words, kind of like sentiments or maybe like message. And the message is going to be from this card stock that I got, very long one, and I like it, this idea. So, the, it's going to say, Remember to make room for what matters, breathe deeply, learn something new, choose simplicity, and keep growing. So my message is ready. I am attaching the chimbal accent into this card. And also I decided to fill up with new drops, transparent to make it more glossy. This message card is ready. Now let's go to the next. The next one is going to be 
of this pimple crown. This pimple crown is already says everything. There is sentiment, there's already flowers, so I choose to keep it as it is. But I needed to add something a little bit embellishment to make it more beautiful. So I decided to use again studio culture embellishments and I'm picking only the clear one gems. Also, I decided to sparkle up this card with Wink of Stella around the little bit flowers dots and the word wonderful to make it a little bit sparklish. So here little sparklish and gentle cut is ready nothing extra just keep simple so the next one is another one cut with message it's the little things in life so I decided to use it as a board so what the board is going to be the cheaper accent from clips or something like this and on the bottom I'm going to cover this flower with this yellow peony flower Again, I am attaching it with glue from Sam and Say stamp. So I need to make sure those accents holding very well and for a long time. My cut is done. I decided to add sparkle shimmer with a little of Stella to make like a frame. Look at this, how sparkly it is. Love it. The next one is going to be this pink background with pink boots and on the top flowers. I just love this picture. So, uh, the things I don't like about is how it's written the detail and check marks. It's like you have to write down the flower name or seed's name or anything. So, I decided to cover this with banner stickers and it has sentiments friends are the sunshine of life I'm covering this the detail sentiment and some of box chalk marks and on the bottom I still have some box chalk marks so I am covering it with another sticker of, sticker of flowers then there's another flower so I want to add somewhere on the top and I found the yellow flower that match on the boots. I format this flower and this card pretty much is done. The look at this, it's very pretty and simple and cute. The next card is going to be like another the pink one that has already sentiments and the details like a bicycle. You have but only life. Enjoy the journey. I decided not to add anything too much except those little flowers peonies around.
after I had touched all the stickers around. Then I decided to add Wink of Stylus and to make borders again. Just like previous cut. I like sparkling things. It's beautiful and it's making a little bit stand out. Also, I am adding sparkle on flowers, of course. So, my cut is a little bit sparklish and that's enough. Let's keep it simple. Next one, it's last one, but also it's my favorite one. Not only because it's simple, but also I like how vintage style it made. And I think the sentiments are perfect day. And the flower peony or how it's matched with the background. So I am picking up excess powder from the mat, then forming it up. And I'm going to stick it just like over here in the middle. Then to add a little bit details, I decided to use new red drops around the flower pot. Just a little bit, like little bit water drops. And my cut is almost done. My favorite and I love it. Beautiful. These are 12 mini cuts ideas. The crown comes from one paper sheet from Caterpillar. It's a little bit cheating using the stickers and cheaper accents. Also, all the details such as ribbons and studio cutters, jewelry, and newer drops. It's challenging and fun to make those mini cards. It's actually my first time doing mini cards in this video. Hope you like it. This cheating idea with mini cards and enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching.